Hi, welcome to the installation video of Arc Linux D. You see already in the name, of course, but also in the logo, that's white. So you boot up, whether it be from Grub or UFI, and um, you will boot up into something graphical already. That's great. Arc Linux D is there for people say, oh, just give me a minimal Arc Linux slash Arch Linux thing, and I'll do my thing with it. I'll write my own scripts, I will install my own packages, my own menus, I'll do everything. So Arc Linux D is the more kind of learning kind of environment. All right, we get an, um, a graphical installer and the graphical installer is called Calamaris and we're at version 3.2.17.1. It's not from us, it's from the Calamaris team and it's a free application to install any Linux distribution out there. So that's a, a general way of installing Linux on your system. Now let's um, go every option, go over every option. That's this for instance, that's the first thing you could do is change to German, right? Willkommen, Paket as well, Standort und so weiter. So we could change to any language in here, but it all depends what comes next. If the desktop has translations, it will just translate it. And if it is partially translated, that's because the desktop has partially translated. So it's just what comes next is, is entirely up to you. The choice is yours. There are 35 ISOs to download and 15 desktops. It all depends the desktop that's coming behind it. If you install an Linux B, for instance, that's, that's the idea well, I'm talking about Linux B, of course. But the same applies if you're going to install Linux D and then XFC, for instance, and you do it in German, it will be in German. It's gonna work. Now, that's that. You can select the way you, uh, what the language of, of Calamaris as well, right? But it will result as well as an, an desktop if translations are available in that language. I prefer to keep it in English and I go for next. And then we get this uh, rather complex screen. Let me explain it and it's uh, gonna be clear in no time. At this point in time, your system is frozen. Any Linux ISO out there in the world is frozen in time. You have a kernel 5.4.6 on the ISO. But in the meantime, people keep developing, right? So in the meantime, I'll show you, we are on 5.4.8. That's the Linux kernel version today. So if you want to have the latest Linux kernel on your ISO, sorry, not on your ISO, on your SSD, on your hard disk, you select this. If you say no, the latest 5.4.8 gives me issues. I'll stick to the, the one on the ISO, don't do anything. That's, that's pretty simple. If you don't select anything, you won't install WPS, you won't do this, any of these guys. No latest Linux kernel, no Linux LTS and so on. So just pressing next won't install anything. This will not exist. Okay, but what if you want to install the latest Linux kernel? It's just pressing this thing and it's gonna install the Linux package. It's all Arch Linux story, really. So let me trick update. Oh, let me first do this. Go to my Azerti keyboard and then I type update and stop in the time and then sudo pacman minus s linux whoops sudo is a better command the other one shell needs to be invented so they're all kind of linux kernels you can install and one of the choices we provide you is linux lts so the long-term support so either you install linux that's this one or you install the linux lts so this, this really depends on the kind of machine you have. If you know beforehand that your machine needs Linux LTS, otherwise the wireless will not work, or the screen is bad, or anything like it, then you know what to select. You select Linux LTS right now inside Calamaris, rather than doing it later. So it's all about choices. If you don't do anything, nothing will happen. But if you do choose something, 
the Linux kernel will install. In this case, the Linux LTS kernel will install. So pick one. And then in this case, these are all the NVIDIA kind of solutions. In this case, it all depends what you need. There are two drivers, NVIDIA driver and the NVIDIA 390. And whether you want the LTS kernel or the Linux kernel, well, you need to select. So again, a choice. Do I have NVIDIA? Yes, no. Do I need NVIDIA driver? Yes, no, I don't need the NVIDIA driver. I actually need the NVIDIA 390 driver, which will install something else, the 390XX driver with all its applications. This will install another one. So it all depends um, what you need and you can figure it out on the ArchWiki. We have a nice uh, page, ArchWiki NVIDIA, and they tell you what it is. Or you just, just uh, try it out, trial and error. You just install NVIDIA. That would be my uh, first one to start with. If that doesn't work, well, then you select next time this one and see if that one works. If no, neither of them works, then it's going to be just like this, right? No NVIDIA. Or figure out that maybe you need an NVIDIA 340XX. That's another one, but it's not on the Arch repo. That's on AUR. You need to build it. Then this has been explained. Intel U code is um, available. If you want to install it, you can check out what it is in Arch Wiki. So basically it's very simple. If you have a CPU and your CPU is in, in uh, Intel, okay, you select this one. Or if you have an AMD CPU and you select this one then. That's how it's done. Now, if you select both of them, I've made Calamari smart. I've let him check what CPU do you have. And if you have an AMD, it will delete Intel. And if you have an AMD, it will delete uh, if you have an Intel, it will delete AMD, right? So whatever you press here, it's going to check anyway. But if you don't select anything, it will not install that. This particular package will go in your boot folder. Now, if you have LibreOffice, you can have a uh, stable version or you can have a more advanced or beta version or they call it a feature branch. So that's the very, very last development and this is one more stable. Now, if you select both of them, it's gonna be the still one, so choose. Or you say maybe these WPS that Eric is using looks good. I'm gonna try that one with all the funds and the MIME available. So that's all possible as choices. Let's try something for the video. Last Linux kernel, we can check that, right? 3.2.6 will be 3. Uh, sorry, 5.4.6 will be 5.4.8. We can check that. Um, WPS, we are from, we're, we're in Arc Linux D, we're ending a black screen. So yeah, we can check that as well. And let's install Intel as well. And then go for next. At this point in time, the server, which is pointing to is not working. So you either click on your correct country or city or select it here. Let's do a select here. And I rarely do. So, Brussels somewhere. First, America, right? Europe, and then Brussels. That's better. Europe, Brussels, done. You can change your system language if you want to, still here. Lots of possibilities to change. And here as well, the numbers and the dates, the locale uh, can be changed there as well. Going for next. Choosing my keyboard, very important to get the right keyboard. So type it here. I have an Azerti, I'm happy. And then next. And then we have the erase disk. In erase disk, you can do lots of things, of course, uh, depending on, on what you have as hard disk. But as you, the way you look at now means that the SSD or hard disk just came out of the store. There is an unpartitioned space of unknown partition table. So there is nothing there. This is the easiest way, the best way to install. So clean everything up before installing is, is the best approach. If you have an old SSD or hard disk you reuse. In my case, there is nothing available. <coughs> and then there are choices. There is no swap. This has to do with your memory. If um, you have lots of memory, 
then there you don't need swap. I have 16 gigabyte memory, eight gig for the virtual box in this case, still no need for swap. Swap no hibernates, so a little bit swap, 2.0 gig, uh, gigabyte. And swap with hibernate, it will take into account the size of your memory and at least the size of your memory will be taken. So you see it's about 10% more than I have, 8.8. .8. All right, so no need for me at this point in time, no swap. You can of course manual partition and uh, you'll see other options if you uh, have something already available, you can set it next to another distribution and so on. Lots of possibilities. And then we go for a next. Type in your name, computer's name, password. Login automatically without asking. If you like that, that's an option you can do and use the same password for the administrator account. Now, in this case, this is an Atomix D. There is nothing to log in to, but never mind, it won't do any harm either. So, next and install. Now, at this point in time, here, this is the critical phase for Calamars. Now it's done, critical phase is over. Sometimes you'll see, and it's about 10% of the installations I've, I've seen, Calamaris will cease to, to, to stop. It will give you an error, it says account formatted. So depending, if you have that uh, luck that you have this message, then it's actually a very simple solution. In Arclinx D, you have here right mouse click, and we need to go to Gparted and clean everything up. That's basically what you need to do. Go to Gparted, is it in system? System Gparted, you see? So click on Gparted, click on anything you have, might be more partitions, a lot of, of slices and pieces. Click on everything and click on this uh, dustbin here, delete the selected partition. If you have everything deleted and everything is, is grayed out, then you say, of course, remove or apply all operations, and then you can restart um, Calamaris, which is then in Nexus. Here it is, yeah. Install Arco Linux. But I'm not going to press it because it's already running. And this is the debugging mode on, if you like that. So that's that. This is a very fast installation. It's a minimal one. Arco Linux D is not intended to put you in a finished product, in a desktop. It's entirely up to you what you install next. Will you? Install XFC, maybe BSPWM, why not Awesome or Qtile, Xmonad maybe, Mate or Plasma. 15 desktops to choose from, all scripts have been applied or are supplied to you, but the intention is not that you just run the scripts, you need to personalize the scripts. If you say, no, I don't want to have Firefox actually, I want to have uh, something else as a browser. Be our guest, rechange or re edit our scripts. 90% of the work is done, change 10% of your uh, scripts, and you have the system you like. And you'll learn a lot with uh, figuring out all the pieces of the puzzle because it's a big Lego blocks, this Arch Linux, Arch Linux, and the pieces, the choices you want to make are maybe not the same. I will make. So that's the idea. Create something you would like. But it's um, pretty scary in the beginning if you're new to Arch Linux, to Arch Linux or to, to Linux in general. Um, it's gonna be looking pretty dark in the sense that it is a dark screen. So there it is, that's it. I'm Eric, this is my login and we have 5.4.8. You see the second line kernel. So that's uh, a su success already. And now we list my boot directory we see also the Intel U code is there and if I do this and I'll try to remove WPS it's gonna say I can remove it meaning it's installed so there you go these changes in Calamaris have all been installed now it's up to you to do um, well to do to install something and install a desktop but what I can do as well at this point in time is still say update, make sure you have an up-to-date system. Oh, there we go. Let's have a look at all the names. 
The Pac-Man medalist is new, that's an important one. And all the rest is okay. There's a virtual box guest modules arch I see that's well important since we're on virtual box. And after an update, maybe I'll check my mirror again. I could have done that before the update, actually. But the mirror list is now updated. You see the line 11 slash, uh, slash 14. The reflector just ran, so the mirror just ran. So that's great. I don't need to do it again. Um, which leaves me to an up all. And an up all is actually anything from AOR. And there is something from AOR. So that's GConf. Yeah, we had some changes. It moved from Arch Linux to um, AOR. So we rebuild it. And that's that. There might be the need for a scal or a CB, and that I depend entirely. I depends entirely on the, the updates you get. If you see somewhere a scal, you know you need to type scal. The gconf is a big installation. It's not a big, but a long. <laughs> Apple. Ah. So now we have an up-to-date system. Now it's up to you to install anything you like, any desktop you like. Go and have a look at adaclinksd.com. Choose your desktop and follow the tutorials.